so we start by looking at uh, the first question here and the first question of this paper indicates that in 2020 the government of the republic of cameroon decided to impose a special tax of 0.25 percent so the tax tax 0.25 percent on the cost of every new telephone that was imported into the country by dealers a a we had to determine the amount of tax that was paid on phones worth 4.8 million so in this case the tax will be equal to 0.25 percent of 4.8 million So we have 0.25% on 4.8 million, okay? So our calculations will give us a value of 12,000 So this gives us an amount of uh, 12,000 FCFA 12,000 FCFA now the B part is that of this paragraph introduces us to the B part of the total amount of 560 million francs collected at the end of the year. This tax 30% was used to pay contract teachers. So 30% was used to pay contract uh, teachers and 28% was used for treatment. Treatment. Fifteen percent was used for scholarships of medical students, and the rest was paid in the government treasury. So treasury is the rest. And now, find how much was paid into the government treasury. So we first of all have to get the percent that was paid in the government treasury. So B. So the treasury percent should be equal to 100% because the total money was 100% minus 30% minus 28% minus 15% so 30 100% minus all of this what does this give us so this is equal to 27% uh, and we cannot find the amount that was paid into the treasury so the amount will be equal to this 27 percent times 560 million so two zeros two zeros and when we simplify we will have an amount of so this gives us 151 million uh, 200 thousand francs that's the amount of money that was paid into the treasury. Next, C. To determine how much was spent on treating COVID-19 patients. Okay, how much was spent on treating COVID-19 patients. The equation tells us that 28% was used for treating COVID-19 patients. So this is going to give us 28 for 100. This is for COVID-19. times 560 million two zeros at the end and what does this amount give us so this gives us 156,800 FC FA so this amount of one that was spent for COVID-19 patients uh, the C part of the equation and the D part rather now the Z part states that find the ratio in its lowest term, the amount distributed to the four headings of expenditure. At this particular point, I will advise I will advise that you use these percentages rather than using these amounts because in using these amounts to simplify, you may end up making a lot of errors. And to use the amount, you will actually need to calculate one of these amounts that you have not calculated. 
and that will also waste time i know the strategy during the exam is actually to gain time so we are not going to use that let's see how we obtain this okay so now we are going to get this ratio as follows so we'll move this ratio we will do it as follows um so we have the ratio be given by teachers teachers to those for COVID-19 to those for scholarship for medical students and the amount in the treasury will be so for teachers we have 30% 30 is 2 uh, for COVID for COVID we saw that we had a 28% then for scholarships uh 15 percent 15 percent for scholarships and uh, finally for the amount that was paid into the treasury okay we had how many percent uh 27 percent so if you look at all of this we are not going to simplify anything because the, there is no common factor the highest common factor is one so this brings us to question one, sub one. Now sub two. So for sub two, it reads. So with sub two, we are actually given this diagram. Like this. Well, this is the point Q. This is M. This is P, and this is O. We have this vector here given by two B, and this vector here given by five. A. Hmm? Now the question states here that from this figure, OP is 5A. So from O to P is 5A. OQ is 2Bs. Then PM, the ratio of PM is to MQ is equal to 1 to 4. So PM, this is PM. So you can divide this into four parts, okay? So from P to M, in that case, M should be here. So PM is 2, MQ is 1 is to 4. So if actually this range is, ratio is 1 is to 4, then we should divide this into 5 parts, right? Yeah. So this one like this is 1 part. This one is 1. Why this, this one from here to here is 4 parts? So 1 part is to 4 parts. So we want us to express this vector pq and mq in terms of a and b so pq and mq in terms of a and b so for us we start by looking for pq to move from p to q in the exam you put these arrows like this because they have bolded them in the equation paper so you have to write the vectors like this take notes so from p to q or pq should be equal to head minus tail right so the head is q and what is the tail the tail is p so you just add o in front o in front the vector the vector minus so this will give us or oh, like to write like this uh oq so from o to q is 2b minus op so minus 5a or you can say that PQ is PO plus OQ, right? So PO, PO is minus 5A plus 2Bs. This will give you the same result. Then the next one is MQ. So look now from M to Q. So to move from M to Q, we have to move from M to P, right? Then from P to O, and so on. MQ. MQ should be equal to well normally MQ is this distance right this is four parts out of five parts so MQ should be four over five PQ so to move from M to Q it should be four parts out of these five parts of PQ so this will be equal to four over 5 into 2b's minus 5 a's okay 
But if you decide to do it this way, you still have the same results. If you decide to do it this way, you have the same results. So you can decide by saying that uh, you have um, to move from P to Q should be MP plus PO plus OQ Right, so to move from M to Q should be MP plus PO plus OQ. Now, what is MP? MP is minus one feet because uh, we know of PQ. So if you are moving up from the, to this other direction, it should be minus, and this short distance here is one feet of this total distance. So minus one feet of PQ. And our PQ is uh, 2 B minus 5 A's. Now plus PO. PO is uh, minus 5 A's. Now plus OQ plus 2 B's. We simplify this, we are going to have, uh, bringing all of this, bringing these terms together, we have minus 2 on 5 B plus 2 B. So plus 2 B. Then minus minus is plus right so plus five and uh, this one minus one feet times five a let's just bring this because a minus five a's we continue to simplify once make it be the same like this one so um the lcm is five we'll have um, one and five and so on minus two b plus 10 B's plus 5 A's minus 25 uh, A so this will be equal to 1 on 5 into you see that this method is longer and it's taking a lot of time so 5 A's minus 25a that gives us a minus 20as minus 2b plus 10b so plus 8b so if you factor out 4 from here uh, let's see if you factor out the 4 we are going to have 4 over 5 into this one will be 2b right 2b minus 5a so so the result is the same but you can you could recognize from here directly that MQ to move from M to Q is just one quarter of PQ. And you see, this student has done only two steps and has the same uh, answer as this one. If this question is two marks, no matter what you do here, they will still give you two marks, and you end up wasting a lot of time here. And this one is prone to errors. All right, now so we move now to the second question.